Hey yo, what up? Welcome to Black Savage Entertainment. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and turn your notification bell on. Yo, we got some more content for y'all, man. We got Wack 100. He's speaking on NBA Youngboy's situation, and he thinks there may be something fishy going on with NBA Youngboy's case. Now, Wack 100 has found out that NBA Youngboy's attorneys have skipped the preliminary hearing. Now, one could believe that NBA Youngboy's attorneys have agreed on a deal with the prosecution. Now, some could even say he could be cooperating. He could be naming some co-conspirators. And, you know, a lot of speculation can be made. But WAC 100 makes it clear that he's giving NBA Youngboy the benefit of the doubt. Now, it might be a little bit of selective politicking going on because y'all know if it was anybody else, WAC 100 would be like, oh, yeah, he telling, he's a snitch, he's a rat. So let's see your audio, man, and see what WAC 100 really thinks about NBA Youngboy's situation. Make sure you like and subscribe, man. Let's get it. First warrant prior to when they did. Right. Right. So because of that, when they came and served the search warrant, everything they found is no longer admissible. We see why Thug beat that. Right. OK, so I'm just the preliminary is what lays out all the charges, what it is, what it ain't, what we're going to keep on you, what we're going to drop. They waived the preliminary hearing. And set a fucking plea deal, plea deal, a plea deal date. Forty three counts, no trial, no preliminary, no nothing. This is you ever seen this before? I've never. I've, I've only time I've ever seen this is informing the feds of a proffer. But this is a state. Um, 43 counts he should be in court by two years now 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 they normally charge uh overcharge niggas with some trumped up charges and then kind of come down whenever they they start getting the evidence yeah 63 and that would have had and still that would have had to go to okay. preliminary that you wouldn't have happened in, that wouldn't have happened in arraignment yeah, you still got to go to pre -level. Gotta go to prelim. Yeah, well then it's looking bad then, OG. I ain't gonna even lie, like you said. Yeah, prelim, yeah, prelim, where they gonna give you that first deal at? That's that's yeah, prelim is when you walk in, right? When I walk in my prelims, they be like, okay, uh, charge is two forty five assault with deadly weapon, count one, count two, discharging a firearm into a uh, vehicle, count three, discharging a firearm in the um in a dwelling, right? Um. Boom, all right, we like to call in officers such and such. Officers such and such, can you tell us what happened? Okay, on this day, boom, 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 we received a call, boom, 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 boom. Description of the car was this, 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 that. We pulled up to the scene. It was multiple, it was like eight bullets in the motherfucking garage. It was two people there that were the victims. This young lady about this, gentleman by the name of this, they were driving a Volkswagen Beetle. Boom, 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 boom. They said a guy in the green Cadillac Seville, site 78, 79, um, uh, they was involved in a verbal altercation. Shots was fired. Boom, boom, boom. He fled down this way. Later on, uh, we did a routine traffic stop of a green Seville. It was a lady driving it. She did not match the description of the shooter. Uh, somebody pulled up later on outside. Um, and another Cadillac, a white Cadillac, got out. He matched the description of the shooter. We detained him, and then we had the victims picked up, and we served. A fucking field ID. He was identified as a shooter. Uh, this gentleman was identified as the lady that was driving the car's son. Right? Boom. All right, boom. All right, next person. Female gets up there. This what happened. Boom, 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 boom. Chases down. Shots. Boom, boom. The dude. This what happened. Boom, boom, boom. Chases down. Shots. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Just says, all right, preliminary hearing. <clears throat> I find there's enough to bound you over to superior court. Boom, 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 on the two counts of assault with deadly weapon, discharge the firearm, and boom, 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 bam, I go to Superior Court. Now I got to start all over. Superior Court arraignment, Superior Court preliminary hearing, Superior Court uh, dis uh, discovery, Superior Court pretrial, all this shit, getting ready for trial. In the process, <clears throat> if the DA starts seeing there's some holes in his case, then they'll come start offering you deals. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, 
I've never seen a nigga got 63 counts, 20 of them get knocked off before court, go to court, and before the preliminary hearing say a deal was made in the chambers, and we waiving the preliminary hearing, and we going to July 1st for a plea deal, a, rank, a, a plea deal court date. Now, let's think on another level. Let's say NBA said, fuck it. I don't want none of my people to be fucked up who I got involved in this. The girls picking it up, this, that, and other. And he went in there and told them, hey, I take all this shit, everything, mine. Fuck it, you give me 15 years a day, I take it, and y'all can give it to me July 1st. I can, And the judge and the DA go for it. I can see that. It could be that too. Let's put it on the floor. He could have went there and copped all this shit. You know, I don't know. I'm just saying this is a very unusual situation. Now, I'm going to keep it real. Because I'm a bitch ass nigga sometime. If this would have been Big U... I will be calling that nigga Master Splinter King Rat. But because it's NBA young boy, I'm having some grace and I'm scratching my head and I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. I fuck with NBA. I personally don't want to believe that something went on. Um, whatever could have went on, I don't know what could have went on. So the only thing that I can come up with of knowing what I know is maybe he went in there and just copped to some shit and said, yo, if I take it all, what you would give me? So, come July 1st, we'll see. If it ain't that, we'll see what it is. But it's definitely an interesting situation going on that's not the norm. They say, whack. What you gonna bank on? I'm banking on NBA went in there and told them people, yo, I copped all this shit. I don't give a fuck. But give me a deal. Fuck it. Give me the 10. Give me 15 for this shit. And we can save the taxpayers their money. Maybe his attorney told him, yo, we can't beat this. The feds gonna give you 10. Of 15, <clears throat> we can go up here with the state of Utah, get 10, 15, and they're going to run the shit concurrent. Uh, save yourself some money fighting this shit, and you're going to do this anyway in the feds. Maybe that's it. That's what I'm banking on. But that's just me. But if this was another nigga I didn't fuck with, I'd be calling him all kind of shit. But I'm giving NBA the benefit of the doubt. And we're going to see how it play out. Maybe the feds then told the attorney we're going to get this nigga 12 to 15. Maybe the attorney then said, yo, we go up here. I can get these people. You copped everything right now because they don't want the publicity in their damn state to make it look like <clears throat> people could just order prescription drugs and get away with it. Right, they give you 10 to 15, they run it concurrent with your fed time. The time you're doing in the feds is what you're gonna do anyway, and you be done with it and save yourself a quarter million dollars on attorney fees. I'm banking that's the play. Okay, I'm banking, I'm hoping that's the play. I'm giving NBA Young Boy the benefit of the doubt. Whack 100 for the first time is giving the artist the benefit of the doubt. We'll see July 1st. The floor is open for the conversation. 100 side media team, make sure we get out because everybody's wondering why I'm posting. I got to post because, shit, I post everything else. Am I right? Got you, Wax. That's a fact. You already know. So that's, that's me really siding and giving NBA the benefit of the doubt. That's the best case scenario. Now the floor is open. Talk about it. Yeah, that shit don't look right. And I'm not, I don't Talk know about it. too much about it, but that shit don't look right. You said they skipped the whole preliminary shit? Like, what the fuck? How the fuck can they do that? I 
I, listen, I don't know. This is why I gave the scenario I gave, right? On the good side, the side that people could respect. But on the other side, if y'all ask me what could it be, the floor is open. Feel free to have the conversation. Hey, whack! wouldn't that raise his points up with the feds, though? Definitely. Like I said, I gave the side of it. I'm trying to make sense of something that don't make sense. The only thing I can come up with that makes sense is the feds already in. And I'm just throwing out <clears throat> 10, 12, 15 shit. Could be 20. I don't know. Right? Is the feds might have already alerted his legal that we about to give you this. And the legal, like, we going to get with Utah DA. They don't want this publicity up there. You know, we're going to see if they can give you the same thing the feds going to give you and run it concurrent. Concurrent means that with the feds give them 15 and Utah give them 15, they run both of it concurrent where he just does the 15. Yeah, yeah. Consecutive, I means, like that. consecutive means you do the 15 off the feds and then the state of Utah come get you and then you got to do their time off day 15. So if they're running it concurrent and he know he going anyway, well, fuck it. I'll take that if you're running it with that. Save myself some attorney money and a bunch of fucking trips that I can get my time started. Okay, I got a question. With that's this the only like thing that makes sense to me. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm not hindering anybody from the floor from speaking a piece. I'm letting y'all know whack, right? This would it look like with a nigga being biased. The rest of these niggas don't want to tell the truth when they being biased. I'm being biased. I'm giving NBA young boy favor. This is what I'm doing. Could it mean what it looks like? Could people look at it like it's some other shit going on? Absolutely they can. Right? But this is what I'm saying. I'm hoping this is what this is and we'll see July 1st. But the state, the floor is open for conversation. I just have a question. So with this being like involving the DEA with the pharmacy fraud and all that stuff, is it possible that the feds could pick this, these charges up? So instead of him dealing with the feds picking them up, he's just going ahead and getting it over with, with the state? Well, if the feds well, the fed was going to pick it up, they'd pick it up. Okay. They, they would have grabbed it. Yes, they could step in because it's pharmaceutical shit. <clears throat> or they can leave it right over there with the state. Mm-hmm. Question, um, because um, I don't know too much about this, but preliminary or arraignment, that's basically where they give you your charges or something like that? Preliminary hearing is where they give you your charges, go over how they got you. The arrest warrants give you the details of the of what your charges are. They waive that. We, don't even, we ain't even talking about that. We ain't going on record. How, do you, how does that get waived? Well, he said they got away because the DA and the, and the um, NBA's attorney uh, came up with a deal or an agreement in the judge's chambers. Yeah, we, that's we, we don't know what that see. is. We just we don't know what it is because normally when you waive your preliminary, you're going straight for what the deal is or what they already offered you. Over but here goes the thing: no way a nigga got forty three counts. And you going straight to a plea deal. No, nah, you're going to fight that. That only happens yeah. if you copping out. Mm -hmm. And copping out can fall on both sides. Mm -hmm. Now, yep. the fact that you copping out, they can say, nigga, everybody would say, fuck it. If I tell you this, you'll give me a deal. And say they sell two, three years in the county. They don't usually say, all right, unless other things are being said but again whack is being biased right now i'm giving nba young boy benefit of doubt that i wouldn't ordinarily never give anybody else but because i know him i talk to him i know his team i think i know his mentality i don't want to believe or i don't want to suggest that his deal in the chambers is him cooperating and telling on anybody. So my stance is NBA, the feds and told his legal, we're going to give you this. 
His legal then got the state of Utah to say they give him the same. They're running concurrent, right? And if, if NBA coming here and cop out to whatever it may be, maybe the search warrant was a little faulty. I don't know. Maybe it was something in there to where the DA thinks he may have action at beating it and humiliating the whole state of Utah. I don't know. But this is the benefit of the doubt I'm giving NBA young boy. Because if it's anything that could be respected on where we come from, it would have to be that. So I'm going to say it's leaning towards that direction. But again, it could be looked at another way. That's why the floor is open for discussion. Right. And they could have. I got a question in the chat right. um, uh, for Wack. She said, based on the charges and what the media has shared or whatever is in the paperwork, does he think that it is possible for him to take in those charges for everyone involved? Or could he have given the authorities information or others involved? It could have went both ways. I'm being biased and I'm saying NBA took the charges. That's what I'm saying. And I'm saying it because I know him. I'm a friend to him a friend to his team. I'm posting on my Instagram and I'm trying to be as neutral as possible without just leaning towards one thing or another so people ain't saying, oh, whack, if this would have been anybody else, you would have said this or that. So I'm leaving it up to the people that like, you know, hey, this was going on, this is what I see. Here go a video, this is what they said in court, this is what they say, and he come back July 1st, your thoughts. I'm telling yeah. you why my thoughts are what they are, right? And I'm telling you why. If this were to be somebody else, I'd be flaming their ass up. Yeah, no, they getting out of yeah and they could have, and, and based on you, you know, just looking at the bright side, hoping for the best. Um, no, that that's me, but on yeah. the other side of it, it's not normal, you know. It's not normal, but it's a possibility. It's and a maybe possibility. they gave right, and maybe they gave him the bell so he could go home and get all his things in order. But well, he ain't going household. home because the Fed hole gonna keep him where he at. Oh, so they didn't give him the bond. He didn't they get out. They gave him a bond, but that's the state bond. He but can post that all he want. Uh, the Fed hold is gonna hold you. He gonna put the bond up just in case God told the Feds to drop his hold. They'll let him go. Gotcha. <clears throat> so oh, okay, we gonna put okay, the bond okay. up. Right, and if you read it, the hundred thousand dollars probably got to come in full, and that's part of the deal. The hundred, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe that covers the amount of pharmaceutical drugs that was. I don't know. He got to pay the hundred, that's part of the deal. He got to pay that hundred bond regardless. regardless. So, you know, <clears throat> me personally. I'm giving NBA young boy the benefit of the doubt. That's me. This would have been another nigga I'd be on their ass. But NBA, he crazy enough to say, fuck it, I'll take it all. Nigga. Pussy mm -hmm. ass bitches. Give a fuck. Yeah, it could definitely go either way. He crazy enough to go that way. But, shit. It could go another way. I don't know what that would be, what that would look like, what a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. But it's it's out there, so I'm not going, I'm siding, I'm giving NBA the benefit of the doubt, but I'm not just going to be like, hey, y'all can't talk to this nigga, it's shit, it's a conversation. Shit, they still talking about Jesus. Look like bad work. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not biased. I don't know him, but that looks like bad work. Yeah, I'm biased. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, yeah, I'm biased. No, but don't ride with what I'm saying. Yeah, I just I, keep I, it I, real. I, I like, it, yeah. yeah, I'm keeping it real. I'm, some likewise, shit I'm gonna be biased yeah. with. And likewise, but shit, I'm not biased. I pull up, they got beasts out there. I jump out. What happened? The nigga stole my car. Beasts, what they talking about? I jacked his car and they called me. I'm gonna draw it out on them niggas' bag up. This is my man. <laughs> Straight up. Pull up. Guap, what's up? This motherfucker was fucking my wife. Guap, what you doing? You fuck. Man, I didn't know the nigga would thought he was out of town. I'm going to draw down bag up, nigga. Whack, you know he wrong. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about none of that. You right. This is my man's. 
right? We had Troy on the battlefield, Tombstone with the Earth, with the, you know, mm-hmm. with the Earth brothers. <clears throat> I mean, you know, with the fucking brothers. Like, I'm gonna tell you, like, when I'm being biased, I'll tell a motherfucker. These other motherfuckers that be want to make up excuses. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you I'm being biased. I'm gonna tell you what I'm hoping for it to be. And then that's it. I'm gonna open up the four foot uh, discussion, and I'm not gonna avoid the the, the questions. Could I it go hope another so. way? Yeah. Because on this situation, they was making it look like he was the head and everything. So it's like, who are we telling on? Unless he's telling on something totally different. He was um, arrested with three other people too. Yeah, I don't know. Listen, I'm gonna be the real. Only, I'm gonna the be only real with you. If I went to jail for some serious shit, I got a 12 different ways I could get out if I wanted to be a rat. See, people got to understand that. It ain't about what's going on right now. It's about what you know. What you know. Mm-hmm. That's a whole fact. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't about the case. It could be a body. Nigga, mm-hmm. 2004, the nigga over there in the woods. It could be... The niggas that robbed the bank over here in 2010. It could be, I know an operation where they moving 58 keys a week. You know, so telling come in many forms. Hey, whack. That's telling hey, me that, about the situation. Yeah. Hey, whack. That pharmaceutical play right there, that shit don't come without a doctor office and a doctor already in the play. That's a looped up play. So there's some, there's a higher to that, even though you the one making a call pretending to be the doctor. Your script still got to go through scripts on the, on the, on the state service. Nah, on the state yeah, service. I'm, I'm, I'm with you with that. Yeah, you feel me? So, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I've been listening this whole time, bro. I don't know what to... I'm, with I'm you, keeping bro. it real, Z. I've never seen no shit like this, bro. I've never seen it either. In my life. I've never seen it either. <laughs> and you right. Not me. And that information had to come from somewhere, and I'm going to be real. In that state, that type of state, they really own what the fuck where's our loophole yeah, there's a loophole yeah because, because that's what's getting me kind of conf- you gotta send it yeah to but zine yes. look the thing is when you now what they are doing with the feds or the um with the uh prescriptions and stuff like that like nationwide narcotics that. is electronic that's what, now. I'm, that, that's what i'm saying um so, Reece, uh, Reece, that's resource no yeah. piece. What I'm that's what I'm saying. It's an E script. So E, watch this, Reese. So, if you I, write, I, if you write four scripts in my it. name, only two gonna bust. You can't have that much narcotics. Did they say it was an E script? It how shit? They write they scripts in, in, in but, the but doctors shit. still got their pads too. No, no, I'm saying, but not for narcotics. They no, still they can't write do in that. Yeah, no, they know. Oh, no, so yeah, let's call these narcotics. Computer. Yeah, it's supposed to be E script for narcotics. So you feel me, Reese? The only way you gonna get. 70 scripts to bust through my doctor office and my name and my numbers is a play, bro. It's but this is my NBA. thing. If, if I feel if the doctor was in play, then when the pharmacy called to verify, why wouldn't it be so hard to verify? So look, the doctor giving, why up, did he the doctor have to do giving up his state access code. He's giving up his way to write the script. Like he's giving up the source so that you can write the scripts in my name. You gonna run the play and use my doctor office. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying to you? So It'd be a loophole in the doctor's office selling the information for people to bust up narcotics. The only problem that happens now is when they call and the doctor shit don't, the doctor gets barred from writing all narcotics. That's when the whole shit, now you got to burn the doctor, get a new doctor. Like, this is, remember they was doing this shit with the teledoc. Mm-hmm. This ain't no new play that like he doing. This ain't no, but what Wag saying that there is, there's definitely a higher up, higher than him, and this shit is, I ain't oh shit, man. I, don't, man. I got a homie that did seven that did uh state time off coding, so I don't know, bro. I ain't never seen no wasn't no wasn't no way preliminaries and shit. I don't know that shit. That's the difference. Not first way I can wait. Hey out here when you wait with preliminary, does this mean you going to a speedy trial? You might be the speedy though. You might, yo, listen, son, I seen niggas be speedies. For sure. They got seven days, bro. And now here they got, you got six months to get you to court. Oh, shit. 
Oh, that's a Fed exam. I'm bugging. That's the federal exam. That's that Fed exam shit. That's that seven days. Put it all on the table. What you got? Now, nah, oh yeah, he got the damn speedy trial and good, son. Damn. They might look up Utah Utah law. Huh? Did anybody look up Utah law? I'm about to, uh, regarding what? That, no, the the E script or the physical shit. Oh, hold on. Uh, the Utah State Stills. It's saying that they it got yep. Yeah, ever since 2022, you got it. Only way you could do it is the e script, and that's called the Utah um, Controlled Substance Act 58372022. Requires yeah, most prescriptions for sense. CS to be um, issued electronically. However, the state delayed enforcement of the requirements to allow adaptation opportunities for providers to become compliant. Mm. Okay. Yeah, the doc. So he might have been able to. So they got crack. a loophole. Yeah, there you go right there. Hmm. God damn. I don't know. This is some different shit, bro. Yeah, it is different, bro. <laughs> Audio, man. Y'all got to let me know what y'all think about this whole NBA young boy case. Um, does it look fishy that this, his attorney skipped the preliminary hearing? Do y'all think WAC 100 is select the politic? And when it comes to NBA Youngboy, I know WAC 100 is very close to Birdman, who has close ties to NBA Youngboy. So let me know that y'all think WAC 100 is being biased because he is giving NBA Youngboy the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, if it was any other rapper, he would have been quick to call him a rat or a snitch. Um, so let me know, man. Based Based on your experience, you may know more of this than I do. Um, does skipping the preliminary hearing automatically mean that you've agreed upon a deal with the prosecution and your lawyers have, you know, made some agreements at the judge's chambers? Um, let me know what you guys think, man. Um, if you made it this far in the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and turn notification bell on and uh, you'll know when I drop the latest videos. Until next time, peace.